Okay, welcome to Blue Flyer TV again. This is Blue Flyer. First of all, thank you to all the subscribers, the new ones and the old ones. You guys all rock. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and my videos. Um, today, I'm gonna run an experiment here and see if I could get longer flight times by using two batteries. I put one over there and one on that side. I'm actually using the tall landing gear and this is how I did this. And uh, of course, I don't know how the CG and the weight and all that stuff's gonna handle here, but I'm um, running two 2200 uh, batteries here and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so about after eight minutes of flight, I uh, decided to bring it back in just to check on uh, the levels on the battery. This one I'm using um, a Nanoforce, a 2200, um, 2200 um, uh, milliamp uh, battery, and it's a 35C. And I notice that uh, motors two and four were so hot; it was even uh, it was uh, painful to touch. So, um, so I don't know if it's uh, overheating. While one and three were uh, pretty cool so I don't know it's probably just the uh, the output of the battery uh, the inside of the, um, the 350 QX is cool nothing was overheating uh, but the best part is the um, the CG the the balance of it all was perfect it was uh, it was pretty pretty steady and pretty nice to bring up and down when I had the uh, the batteries placed on the uh, on the skid, so uh, I'm gonna try now with uh, the regular um, E-Flight batteries. As expected, the uh, the two E-Flight uh, 2200 uh, also um, gave me some some very good um, CG, you know, center of gravity on the QX, and it, uh, it's flying pretty steady, and the hover is great. So, um, of course, I found out the hard way here that a slight breeze um, affects the dynamics, the flight dynamics of the QX because of the, uh, the added um, weight from the outside. Of course, nothing ventured, nothing gained. That little mishap, uh, I had uh, some broken props here on um, number one. As you can see, hopefully, it's nice and uh, chipped over there. And then also on number two, it's also chipped. So that's the uh, the result of that little uh, little crash there. But again, I was flying in what I call the blue-green mode. Basically, um, green with no GPS, and that gets a little touchy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace these props and uh, fly in blue mode. Let's see what happens. Okay, now switching to blue mode. Uh, initially, it looks pretty good, but then I realized that it can't even lift the uh, the 350QX off the ground in the blue mode here. So it was having a hard time. Then, of course, I switched to the safe mode, which is the green mode, hoping that everything is going to be a little bit more forgiving regarding the uh, altitude hold and all that good stuff but as you can see here it's actually worse and I didn't get any altitude nor control and it just crashed okay so safe to say this experiment is a bust the uh, the two battery option here it's no good it's basically um, the balance once the wind starts hitting and uh, when you try to do some maneuvering it's uh, the, uh, the the flight dynamics is just greatly affected so I wouldn't uh, recommend doing this to anybody watching this so that's about it for me and uh, as you can see <laughs> it's actually worse uh, prop number three there just chipped on, um, on both ends and then uh, number two here again it's all crap broken there so that's about it this is blue flyer um, subscribe please and uh, jump onto my uh, website as well blueflyertv.com all right um, as always 
I try doing here. Fly safe, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.